What is up guys, it's the Spoon Dude back with another custom showcase. This time I will be showing off my Scorpion custom figure. Now, uh, if you've seen my Spider-Man vs. Green Goblin um, re-uploaded stop motion, uh, which I made fairly recently, depending on when I upload this, uh, I did put like a teaser, basically at the end, uh, showing a little like clip of this Scorpion and basically um, kind of a tease for a stop motion with this guy. That's still coming. I'm kind of working on it right now. I've shot some parts already. Um, I'm still also kind of planning it out. It's a little hectic. Uh, but yeah, uh, before I wanted to, you know, make and upload that, I wanted to kind of show off the Scorpion figure that I'll be using. Um, just in case, you know, once that's completed, uh, people want to see it and know more about it. If they're curious, you know, whatever. So yeah, here's the figure. Um, I don't want to get into too much detail into it because I already uh, uploaded this figure or a post about this figure on my figure realm and you can know you know more about the work in pro progress and whatnot. I even have some pictures there I think. But yeah, for this figure I used the Ultimate Beetle uh, figure from the uh, uh, Green Goblin wave uh, way back and it, you know I didn't really care for the figure on the shelf. It was kind of a weird character ha to have there. It's not really iconic or famous in that anyway. And also, it's from the Ultimate Comic, so it didn't really match any of the other uh, characters there on my shelf because they're mostly like the mainstream Marvel uh, characters. So I decided to customize him, and I thought he worked really well for a Scorpion figure. If you look at that uh, figure, he has all these lines, you know, uh, sculpted on him, which that's common in most Scorpion designs. His armor really lent itself to a kind of scorpion look, uh, especially Ultimate Scorpion. Uh, so yeah, most of my um, influence came from that, just working off this design. I cut off the little head things, um, took off the wings off the backpack, uh, redid the hands with um, with some to toothpicks for the fingers. So he has the claws and then gave him this uh, arm guard thing. And of course, I did the tail. This is just a USB uh, light, I believe. It was a USB light wire. I took off the light, obviously, and the USB portion. And it was a little bit tricky to do that, but once I got it, um, that was, you know, nice. Here's the, and it's pretty bendable. It does have some limits, like there's a certain point where you bend it, it just springs back. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. I like it, and I just stuck it into the back of the figure, drilled a hole in the figure, and then stuck it and glued it, glued it there so that it doesn't fall off, obviously, and it's nice and secure. You can see it's pretty easy to stand. Uh, and, of course, I did the end of the tail with just some fodder parts, and I think parts of the wings were made for the blade portion. Um, and for paint, it's just a basic black uh, base coat, and then green dry brushing all over, dry brushing? Dry brushing, green dry brushing all over it uh, to get it, you know, to get the details popping. Uh, I don't want to put too many colors on him. I think he worked best as just, you know, green. Um, but obviously I did some yellow highlights. This could use more coats. Um, and also I think I could have spent more time sanding the figure. Uh, you know, the knees are fine. They're, uh, but other parts have a lot of paint rub, like up in the shoulders, on the joint, and then mostly back of his head for whatever reason, just right there. It's kind of weird. But yeah, that's the Scorpion figure. Quick size comparison, here he is with uh, Marvel Legends, my custom Spider-Man. Hopefully I'll put a card up there, I haven't seen that video already. And of course, the Ultimate Spider-Man, which might be the one or is the one he'll be fighting in the stop motion. Um, I think that's a good height. This is probably a better height, makes him look more menacing. Uh, but yeah. And the figure's height, uh, by the way, is somewhere between six uh, and 6.5 inches. The ruler's kind of weird and the perspective is kind of weird on the video. But yeah, that's, you know, I think he's a good height and he looks pretty good with um, both Spider-Man, particularly this one. Alright, so that's the figure. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about the custom, leave them in the comments below. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe um, to the channel if you want to see more stuff. And if the stop motion is already out, I will li uh, link it in the description below. 
and somewhere on a card, hopefully. And uh, yeah, so that's the figure. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.